Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Uh, great to see everyone. Thank you for everyone that's here in the room and on YouTube. Um, to my left is one of my dearest friends in the entire world, Brian Caselli Jordan. And to my right, one of my heroes in the world, uh, Dwight Sterling Dunstan. And AKA together, Sterling Duns. that's right, that's right. <laughs> and together we are City Love. Woo! And we're excited to rock with y'all, share some music. I appreciate those hands, those yeah. jazz hands up there. Um, <laughs> appreciate that love. And um, we're going to share a few songs with you this morning. We're going to do a... a activity to engage with one another um and um just so grateful to the folks at creative mornings for this mm -hmm. opportunity i've gotten the chance to work a lot with tina and christina and Catherine and my dear dear friend alexa cutler um and make some virtual movements if you're excited for roxanne and debbie in a little bit right yes i love it i don't know if i was the only one who thought you know i'm like the theme of insecure and our tina roxanne debbie and and City Love and Issa Rae maybe going to hang out, but, you know, I don't know. That was, that was a hopeful, you know, I can hope, I can hope. But uh, we are excited to be here with you all. Um, and on this uh, global theme of insecure, um, in music, I, there are times that I definitely feel um, insecure, um, especially as a musician. Um, there are times when I play music um, or I'm about to go on stage and I just have a lot of self-doubt coming, coming to my mind. Um, and one person who I really think about who's just been such a rock for me um, whenever I get nervous or feel insecure is my mother. Um, she is a beautiful, amazing woman. I don't think she's in here yet. I'm going to send this to you, moms. Um, and um, she's just such a grounded um, and very spiritual person. And it's a quality in her that I've seen my entire life, um, seen it develop, seen it get her through tough times, um, seen her really tap into it in joyous times. And um, whenever I think about, uh, get on stage and, and feel insecure. Um, I just think about that quality that I've inherited from my mom of, of groundedness, um, of a connectedness to, to others, of the world around me. Um, and it's a quality that I really, really do love in myself um, and, and love uh, and inherited from her and really love seeing in her. Um, and so we are curious friends. Um, and I think we're gonna put a little prompt in the chat. Um, curious about a quality that you all love in yourself. Um, and, and curious about wh who was the person that inspired that in you? Um, who helped you to, you to shape that quality? And we're just gonna take maybe a minute or two to just have folks just populate that chat thread. Um, and Alexa, for those folks that are online, I think Alexa's gonna hold up a little, little prompt too. It's in the chat. Um, what is a quality? What is a quality? Yes, and the, oh, they're rolling in, beautiful. Thank you, Catherine. Curiosity inspired by your dad, beautiful. Thank you, Julie. Resilience, beautiful. They're rolling in. And if folks could just take a look, take a look as people are writing things in. So empathy from my sister. Oh, wow. Adventure from my dad. Wow, beautiful. Barbara, enthusiasm inspired by both parents. Mm. Vulnerability. Perseverance from my mom. Thanks, Ariel. Amy, persistence from Mama Dukes. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's coming in so fast. It's beautiful. Yes. Yes. And so we invite folks to just keep checking in on that. Please keep them coming in. Um, we want to welcome you into this space. Um, whatever helps you to feel secure or those parts of yourself that you love that might help and support you to feel secure in the space, we welcome them in. We also welcome in those people in your lives that inspire those qualities in you, help to shape those. Um, and... This first song that we're going to play, please keep them coming, um, is a song called Colorblind. And appreciate very much so, Tina, your introduction. Um, we are at a time in our country um, where, um, yeah, there's a great turning, friends, um, that there's, there's not going to be a return uh, going back to the way things were. Um, we are stepping into to new possibilities, new ways of being in relationship with one another. And in many ways, our country um, still has a, a ways to go in terms of really facing and owning up to um, the atrocities, the hurts, the harms um, done, done by racism, um, really impacting people of color and thinking specifically on Juneteenth, um, black folks, um, and really, really reckoning with that um, and moving into to restorative, a restorative practice around what it means to step into to owning that up as a country. And um, sometimes in conversations about race and racism, um, friends can feel uh, really insecure about those 
conversations. It can be trepid, cause a lot of trepidation, cause a lot of hesitation. Um, and luckily, as you all are showing us, we have qualities already that we've inherited that we love about ourselves that are going to be really helpful and really key in having conversations um, about race and racism and actually moving forward together. Mm -hmm. I just want to say a few more words about this song. Um, so it's, it's called Colorblind and definitely you know, speaking to this idea of our country's tendency to avoid conversations about race because of the anxiety it produces, the fear it produces, and um, that we just need to lean into that so much. And yeah, take all your superpowers that you've inherited, as, as Dwight was saying. And I think about my Nana, um, and she, rest in peace, just passed away three weeks ago. And, um, you know, she taught me so much integrity and faith, and I'm so grateful to her for that. She lived to be 95 years old. And uh, when, when we sing this song, I think about a conversation I had with her. And, you know, there's a very pervasive myth about bootstrapping and, you know, yeah, pulling yourself up by your bootstraps, the self-made man. And I think about my Nana's father who came over uh, from Ireland and his family was very poor. He worked as a child coal miner his whole life until he got older and was able to get a job actually working on, on the railroad and was able to help put his family through the Great Depression with that work. And, you know, I remember thinking about the role that race plays in my life, but then also starting to wonder about how, what role did race play in my, in my ancestors' lives? And so talking with her, I was able to ask, you know, do you think that your father could have gotten that job on the railroad if he had been black or if he hadn't been white? And she's like, are you kidding me? And, you know, she was really clear. And those kind of intergenerational conversations about race are so powerful in really understanding how the racial history of the past flows into our lives in the present, what kind of opportunities accrued, what kind of resources and privileges accrued over time. And just getting on the same page with your family is, is so cathartic and so powerful whenever that, to the extent that that's possible. And um, yeah. This song is called Colorblind. Mm -hmm. to make change or talk race at all. We've been walking on eggshells, rooms with elephants, comments on the past saying that it's irrelevant. But if we don't know where we come from, how we get into the end of the road, where will we go? Oh, oh. We are born as equals, but then some of us are fed with golden spoons while others starve. So many vibrant strands, the warmest quilt, equal and so beautiful and strongest for our great diversity, not prophecy, but 
Up the scripture, Ralph Ellison, make an invisible, visible for all to see. Open eyes and open hearts, let's learn to see the world for what it is and build a bridge. We were colorblind, but may we start to see that you can't just close your eyes to history. Oh, amazing grace, please open up our eyes and help others see if they too have been blind. We were colorblind, but may we start to see that your angels close your eyes to history oh amazing grace please open up our eyes and help cover the sound if they to have been blind thank you friends thank you thank you thank you appreciate you all maybe we can just all take a collective breath in maybe we can take a breath in and out. And one more breath in. And out. Beautiful. It's Beautiful. Such an honor to be here and get to spend this time with you all. And you know, as Alexa mentioned, um, we do have a children's album. Just want to do a little shameless plug. We have it here. We really are so passionate about starting conversations about race and equity with children at an early age. Research really shows prejudice starts forming very early on, and we have a power to interrupt that in, in really substantial ways and really solve some problems before they even start. And, um, you know, we're really hopeful that our album can, can really support parents and families, teachers, and schools with, to have conversations about race, equity, and solidarity in terms that are really accessible for children ages 3 to, three to 10. And uh, for, for the next month and probably longer, we're going to be donating all the proceeds from album sales on Bandcamp to the Equal Justice Initiative and to the Movement for Black Lives. And so we would really love your support in getting this tool into the hands of more teachers and schools and families to really start young, get these conversations early and often so that by the time children are in kindergarten, they already have some, some basic understandings in place, you know? Beautiful. So we have... One more song um, to share with you this afternoon um, or morning or wherever you are in the world. Um, and it's called, I Believe. And you might've heard a little drumming. I'm sitting on a cajon right now, Afro-Peruvian drum, um, if you're wondering about that. Um, and this song, um, I believe just means a lot to me. I have one of my activist ancestors on my shirt right now, James Baldwin, um, who talked a lot about love, um, who talked a lot about hope. Um, we truly believe that um, hope is a discipline. We really have to continue to cultivate um, and strengthen our, our hope muscle. Um, and so this song for me is just about how to harnessing the power of, of believing in ourselves, believing in one another, um, and really believing that we can build, build the world that we dream of. Mm-hmm. Oh, and sometimes people need permission when we're in, in person, sometimes people need permission to like move or shake or, you know, vibe along. Like this is your Zoom permission to, to or YouTube permission to, to vibe with us. However you, however makes, whatever makes the most sense for you, um, we invite that. If you want to clap along, snap along, try and keep me on rhythm, it's not easy to keep it's me It's not breeze. I love my white brother, but it's not easy. Help him out. Help him out, y'all. Help him out, please. <laughs> Hey, Brian, we might need a quick restart. The sound's not popping in. Oh, okay. Ooh. That's all right. Let's it see. always happens with this song. Let's try it again. Something about, you know, it's just too much faith and hope and love. <laughs> the the Wi-Fi can't yeah. hear. Somebody was calling okay? for a moment of silence. Let's Can you see. Hear it? Maybe keep You're playing. Not? We'll see. All right, we'll work it out. Great. 
I'm signing. Okay. Just go into it. Yes. I believe these words are true. Because I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe our love can open doors once locked. Like rain can soften rock. I believe in you. I believe our love can soothe the hardened hearts. Like streams make mountains parts. I believe in you. I believe our love can wash this all. Like tide on sandy bay, I believe that soon they will see what we see, that they'll dream what we dream. I believe, I believe. Yo, 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 check it. I know it's hard, we're earthbound, dreaming on stars Thinking that they're too far, it'll never be ours I'm here to tell you that together love can open way to deepest regions of oceans Vast reaching the outer space Nothing's an obstacle, no vision unobtainable Don't believe in impossible, nothing will be the same with you And nothing will be the same with us And all it took was a little trust To see what we've been missing To make realities from wishes We get caught up in the logical Don't realize what has been possible I believe in love, truth, and empathy. You will guarantee those things when you get with me. I believe these words are true. Creative mornings, because I believe in you. I believe in you. And I believe our love will bless us all one day. Will bless us come what may. Will bless us come. So we're just gonna invite y'all while Brian's drifting on that. You can scroll back to gallery view if you would feel so inclined to. And you're just gonna find somebody on the page. They're not even gonna know you're looking at them right now, but you're gonna be looking at them. And they might be looking back at you, but you're just gonna find a face and you're just gonna see these words to that face. You're just gonna be like this. I believe in you. Just like really believe it though. I believe in you. Find, find a face and let them know. I believe in you. Really believe it though. I believe in you. One more face, say it. I believe in you. Maybe just one more face, say it. I believe in you. And say to someone that's not in the I believe in you. Someone you like that needs some love, needs some hope. I believe in you. We do this with the young people, top of your lungs. I believe in you as loud as you can. I believe in you. And as quiet as you can. I believe in you. Last time, y'all. I believe in you. We love you, Creative Mornings. We believe in you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you us. so much. We are City Love. <laughs>